When building your PC, installing the CPU is a simple process, but if you don't install it properly, you run the risk of damaging the motherboard or even the CPU itself. Today, we'll cover the process of installing different CPU types and also explain the anatomy of the CPU and motherboard sockets, so you have a full understanding of how everything fits together properly. We have a variety of CPUs to show, such as this Intel 13900K, this AMD Ryzen 9 7950X, and an AMD Ryzen 5 5600X 3D. The Ryzen 5 5600X 3D is a PGA type CPU, or pin grid array, meaning the pins are on the CPU itself with the receiving socket on the motherboard. This 5600X 3D is one of many different AM4 chips that are still available on the market, so you must take care when handling the CPU to avoid damaging the pins. AM4 chips have 1,331 pins on the CPU, but it only takes one damaged pin to ruin the CPU. The 13900K and 7950X are both LGA type CPUs, or Land Grid Array, meaning there are no pins protruding from the CPU itself. Instead, there's flat contact points, and the contact pins are laid out on the socket of the motherboard. LGA sockets are great to avoid bent pins on the CPU, which is typically the more expensive component, but this comes at the cost of possible damage to the pins on the motherboard. Another advantage of LGA is a denser pin arrangement, allowing for more pins in a common desktop CPU size. The 13900K uses an LGA 1700 socket. The 1700 refers to the 1700 total contact pins available on the socket. The 7950X uses an AM5 socket, which is another type of LGA socket that has 1,718 pins available in its LAN grid array. Here's a few helpful tips for installing your CPU. Don't handle the CPU until you're ready for installation. It may be pretty to look at, but it's best to keep it in its packaging until you're ready to install it into the motherboard. Hold the CPU firmly on the sides of the chip. It's okay to handle the sides with your bare fingers. You want to make sure you have a firm grip on the CPU to avoid any accidental drops. LGA motherboard sockets have covers to keep the pins safe when the motherboard is not in use. Leave the cover on until the last possible minute to avoid any accidental damage to the pins on the board. All it takes is one drop of a screw from your motherboard or even dropping the CPU on the socket to damage the pins on the board. Always check the compatibility of your CPU and motherboard. Buying mismatching components is an easy mistake to make, and you'll definitely have a hard time fitting an AM4 CPU into an AM5 socket. Installing an AM4 CPU is very simple. First, make sure you orient the CPU and socket in the correct positions. There's a small triangle on the socket and another small triangle on the CPU itself. You want to align the triangles to orient the CPU in the right direction. The socket has a small arm along the side. Raise this arm to unlock the socket. You can see the receiving socket shift down to unlock, which will allow the CPU pins inside. Gently place the CPU down on the socket in the proper orientation, and you'll feel the pins slide right into the socket. Push down on the arm to lock the CPU into the socket, and you're all done. If you feel the pins don't align properly when placing the CPU in the socket, remove the CPU and inspect the pins to make sure they're all perfectly straight and have no bends in any of the pin rows. One thing to note is that if the CPU is in the wrong orientation, the pins will not align to the receiving socket and it will not go in. The CPU will only go into the socket in the proper position. This is important because you should not have to press down on the CPU for it to go in. If it's oriented properly, then it will simply go into place. If you feel the socket is not going into place, check that the CPU is oriented in the right direction. Next, let's install an AM5 CPU. The AM5 sockets look a lot different than the AM4 socket, since the AM5 is an LGA type. The socket pins are surrounded by a retention bracket that holds the CPU down. There's a small lever on the side of the socket that keeps pressure on the retention bracket, holding the CPU and bracket in place. Check the orientation. There's a small triangle on the corner of the retention bracket and a corresponding triangle on the CPU to indicate the orientation of the CPU. 
When you raise the retention bracket, there's also another small triangle on the socket plate, so you can see the triangle of the CPU and socket line up when inserted. There are two small notches on the top and bottom of the socket, with corresponding indentations on the chip. These notches are off-center, so there's no way for the CPU to go into the socket in any other direction. Let's start the CPU installation. First, press down on the lever on the side of the socket. It's kept in place with a small hook on the side of the socket. Press down and lift the lever to loosen the retention bracket. With the lever raised, simply raise the retention bracket to expose the socket. Make sure you have a firm grip on the CPU. I like holding the CPU on the sides and gently place the CPU into the socket. Press the bottom of the CPU against the bottom of the socket and you can feel the notch align. Then you can gently place the CPU down. You can give the CPU a slight wiggle to make sure that it's completely flush with the socket. Now, lower the retention bracket onto the CPU. Take the lever and press it down towards the hook. You'll feel a lot of pressure as you press down. This is completely normal and necessary to keep the CPU in place. Lower the lever into the hook and your AM5 CPU is fully installed and ready for thermal paste. Installation of an LGA1700 CPU is very simple and similar to the AM5 installation. The socket pins are surrounded by a retention bracket to hold down the CPU. This is held in place with this smaller lever along the side. There's a small triangle on the retention bracket indicating the orientation of the CPU, and there's a corresponding triangle on the LGA1700 CPU. There's four total notches on the socket, two on the top and two on the bottom. These notches are off-center and asymmetrical, so there's only one way for the CPU to insert into the socket. To install an LGA1700 CPU, press down on the small lever next to the retention bracket, releasing it from the holding hook. Raise the lever to relieve the tension on the retention bracket. Now you can raise the retention bracket, exposing the socket and pins. Firmly hold the CPU on the side and gently place the CPU into the socket, making sure the small triangles and notches are oriented correctly. Press the CPU against the bottom of the socket and you can feel the notches align. Then gently place the CPU down into the socket. Give the CPU a slight wiggle to make sure that it's completely flush. Lower the retention bracket onto the CPU, then take the lever and press it down towards the hook. You'll feel a lot of pressure as you press down. This is completely normal and necessary for keeping the CPU in place. Lower the lever into the hook and your LGA1700 CPU is fully inserted and ready for thermal paste. Installing your CPU is just one of many steps when building your PC or upgrading your components. For more videos about building your PC, such as applying thermal paste or installing your cooling solution, make sure to subscribe. Remember, MicroCenter has expert technicians that can help with any PC upgrades or PC builds. So if you feel you need help with your next CPU installation, we're here to help.